what I try to do when I write characters for series is I try to kind of do like a back and forth thing, sort of like shaving down a, a, a statue, I guess. Like, um, what would be a good way? Like, I, you know, like how a dude like uh, does marble or something like that. You know, like how a dude does like fucking uh, a marble statue or something like that. He starts out with a big old block of like, you know, marble, right? So what I do is I fucking come up with some sort of theme about the character, some sort of very basic thing like, you know, I want this character to be fucking, you know, very strong-willed, very uh, prideful, whatever else, something like that, right? So then I start to think up things that might actually benefit this person or things that might counteract them, like a very prideful person that has to give up their self-appearance or whatever else to, like, use their ability, like it fucking it rips apart their skin and so therefore they no longer look beautiful or something like that, you know, something like that that might even be, like, contradictory. And then, once I do that, then I start to go back and forth. I'm like, okay, an ability that rips apart their skin and stuff like that, this character would have to be fairly resilient to be able to take something like that over and over. So let's make him a little bit more buff, and not so much about like the self-appearance in terms of beauty, but in terms of strength. They want to look very strong and very aggressive and stuff like that. Then I go back and I'm like, well, if it's going to be them very aggressive and strong, the ripping the body apart ability should be something that is very, very visceral, that really has their muscles rippling and gives them strength and makes them look like epic and stuff like that. So then if I go back to that, then I say, well, let's give them a profession or something like that that would actually, you know, cater to this, that they would know how to be able to, like, use their muscles in the best way and so forth. And then I try to complement that, like, let's say I give them, like, their bodybuilder. What else a bodybuilder might do is something in terms of nutrition or cooking or something else like that, because they'd have to know to take care of themselves. So they might have a job as, like, possibly a nurse or a doctor or something like that, because they have to know about health. And then from that, I go into, well, what about if they're a doctor and they've got actual surgical skills, maybe they could rip apart their body in certain ways to get stuff out of their body, like, say, a tumor or a poison or something like that. And this could be an ability that would basically render them immune to any sort of poison in a battle or something like that. So then I go into that and I say, well, maybe as a part of their food stuff, they've also trained their body to be able to react to toxins and so forth by eating a lot of really fucked up foods. And then back and forth and back and forth until I basically grind down the marble statue, so to speak, into something that makes a lot of sense about how that character's motives and behavior and interests might have came about and might have also been the thing that makes them fit their ability so strong. And so that's how I make characters, basically. So that's my whole rant there. I hope somebody followed that, because I know I was going off on a fucking tangent. Yeah, there you go. Victory is certain. Mortal has fallen. This world. Your minions are now strong. Ally. You've been avenged. Double kill. Uh, I prefer Star Trek over Star Wars. I definitely prefer Star Trek over Star Wars just because there's more character development, so more stuff can happen as opposed to Star Wars where they've got to cram it into like six films. Yay! Victory! Victory! Oh, he didn't do the high pitch one. He wasn't like, Victory!